Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with Toolrev, and today we're looking at a couple of miter stand options from DeWalt. So here we have their rolling stand model DWX726, and this is their compact miter stand model DWX724. Both have adjustable mounting brackets, so you can put almost any brand of saw on these, not just DeWalt. So let's get right into it with the 726. This stand weighs 67 pounds, which is about average for a full-size rolling miter stand. For comparison, the rigid stand weighs 67 pounds also. Bosch's stand weighs 76 pounds. The Makita full-size weighs 79. They also have a compact that weighs 58 pounds. And the Delta weighs 62 pounds. You can also get this type of stand with wheels from Makita, Rigid, and others. They usually weigh four to five pounds more than this. This one's just under 30 pounds. The problem is with these type of stands, the wheels are pretty close together. So they're more for just pulling the stand itself around rather than a saw. For that, you really want a wide wheelbase. This rolling stand has a 15 inch wheelbase. And this, especially if you're gonna pull around a 56 pound 10 or 12 inch slider like this saw, um, I learned the hard way almost. I got lucky, but I was pulling this up on a curb. It got a little sideways. The weight of the saw took over and this just crashed down to the concrete, did a 360 roll on the sidewalk. Lucky for me, it wasn't damaged or even out of alignment. But yeah, you really want a wide uh, footing for these saws, a wide wheelbase. So let's go ahead and set this back up. And then we'll check it out. All right, so let's set this saw up and out of the way. Pretty basic operation with this stand. You've got your support arms here. These extend out to eight feet. Eight feet bar to bar. Uh, these are not rollers. They used to be rollers, but now you just get metal bars. So metal and metal. This does have a little bit of fall off uh, when you extend these out all the way. So no problem. Just bring your bar up to wherever you need it. And these bars are pretty tough. They stay in place really well. If you feel like you need a little more support, you can pick up DeWalt's adjustable leg support. So this just goes on anywhere along the line and that's a nice thing to have these cost about 50 bucks the only thing that's not great really about this these arms are this is a stop so this work stop it's just a little flimsy it works but it could be a little thicker the other thing i could say uh, negative here is that the knobs on the lock knobs are the inner side of the knobs are pretty sharp so they're not that comfortable to use without gloves but you know not a big deal this has two height adjustments with this particular saw you get a 36 inch deck height and then you can lower it to 31 inches the stand has a pneumatic assist it's much more helpful lowering it than it is lifting it at least from my back but let's take a look so that's all the way down there's setting one and there's your setting too. I don't use it like that. I use it from the dolly position like this. You can see here's your pneumatic assist. And so there you have it. That's your lowering. I know there's leverage at play here, but this is super easy to use. And it just locks into place. Make sure it click locks in. This lever operates this pin right here that holds the legs to the table. And then it also operates this cable right here that releases the, uh, that pulls a spring in here to keep this from engaging in the height settings. Just one piece of advice when you're operating this, it's all, it doesn't matter when you're opening it, but when you're, you have to, you know, release the pin to open it, click it in. But when you're lowering this, it's always better to release the tension before you pull the lever. Otherwise you wind up stretching out this uh, cable and eventually it stops operating very well. You can adjust it here, and there's another adjustment down here. It's like a bicycle, uh, the adjustment on a brake for a bicycle. Um, but yeah, that's just a piece of advice. If you can remember, it's hard to remember, but release it first, and then lock it up. So this has a, at its widest point, this is 25 inches. It's 59 inches tall. This has solid rubber wheels. And one thing I appreciate is they don't have that harsh chemical smell you get on a lot of rubber dolly wheels so thanks to walt for that hopefully they still come that way 
So here again is the DWX724 compact miter stand. You get a couple of mounting brackets with this to adapt different saw brands to. You set these down. This stands 43 and a half inches tall and has a 500 pound weight capacity where the rolling stand has a 300 pound capacity. A couple of things I like about this over the DWX723, uh, the longer version of this, which I also had, is for some reason this has more clearance between the handle and the legs. So you get a fuller, more comfortable grip to carry this around. And the other thing I like about it is it fits in the cab of my truck. Fully extended, you get eight feet, four inches between the work supports. DeWalt specs 10 feet for this, so things may have changed since I bought this seven years ago. But I find a lot of specs on that site to be incorrect, so I'd put my money on eight feet, four inches. The metal work supports and stops are excellent on this. They're easy to adjust and all the plastic knobs are rugged and comfortable to use. So you can just store it like that or store it on, it, on an angle. The stand also makes a decent out feed for a table saw. You just gotta watch out for the groove right here. You could also just extend the arm and use this part right here. This stands 32 inches off the ground to the surface right here. Uh, you can also use this work support fits on this as well. So that's perfect for that. And yeah, this is just a really nice, I don't have anything bad to say about the saw. It's, I mean about the stand, it's just an excellent piece of equipment. So there's a couple options for you guys. If you get one of these, I hope they work out for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.